hello in this video we will learn to update data in an access database so for that i have already created a microsoft access database with name customer info and it has a table which, na which is named as customer data and this table has two columns customer id and customer name here i have inserted three values so i have to update the name depending on the customer id that is given so for that i need to add this database to my project for that i will right click on my project go to add and then existing item i'll browse and go to the location of my database and then add this database to my project So you can see on the right side solution explorer your database appears there now i will create a form in that i will have customer name updated depending on the customer id for that i am taking two labels and a submit button and two text box also for that in the third label I will be displaying the success message on the correct updation of the data. So I am renaming the text property of these labels and button. So I am setting it to customer id and customer name then renaming the text property of button to submit update and uh, the third label that i am using will be left blank and will be updated as soon as my task is completed now for go i will go on the click event of this button by double clicking on the button to use oaddb i need to write a using statement using system dot data dot oladb so in the button i will be first creating a connection then i'll open a connection write a command and after that execute the command and then display the result so for this OLEDB connection I am using con uh, OLEDB connection con is equal to new connection here I will be providing the uh, path of my database so for that for setting the part I will use con dot connection string is equal to in double quotes provider dot provider is equal to microsoft ole dot ace dot ole db dot and this is the version number 12.0 then i will be giving the data source for data source i will copy the part by going to the database properties there you can view the path on selecting the database in the properties window you can get the path you can copy this path and paste it here so wherever there is one forward slash you have to keep it two because it will not be accepted so you have to use two slash after this is done i will open the connection by using con dot open statement now 
it's time to write the update query for that i'll use oladb command cmd is equal to new command oladb command so here i will give my update statement which is update here i have to write the table name so my table name was customer data so i had typed here customer info later i had changed it to customer data set customer name is equal to in single quotes value where customer id is equal to the text box value now to execute this command i will need cmd dot execute non query statement so after giving this command and the connection to the oladb command we will execute this command so this will execute my command and now it's time to display your success message so this message will be displayed in the label so label number 4 we had used so in this label i will display this success message messages record updated and save your project and then run your project so my project is executed i want to update the first row that was one which had customer id 1001 and i am setting the name to sam click on update and my record is updated you can see the updated data in your access Thanks for watching this video please like comment share and subscribe to this channel for more contents